Hello, my name is Robert, and we're talking today about planimeters that measure charts, or chart integrators. There's two basic styles of them. The electronic ones, down at this end, and the mechanical ones, on this side. Here is the Lassico Model 1000 Linear Chart Integrator. This model has a vernier scale, and when you read the chart, you turn the chart on the turntable around in a circle and go back to its point of beginning, following the line with the cursor. As you rotate the chart, a reading will be read on the vernier scale. That reading can be plugged into a formula which will give you a result that will tell you the area under the curve that you can use as a reading for the given value recorded on the chart. There are two basic types of charts. There are linear charts and square root charts. This Model 1000 reads linear charts. The scale is equally divided from the zero line to the outer line and in this case the scale is equally divided in 100 parts. Here we have a square root style planimeter. Notice how the scale reads from 0 to 10 but the lines get progressively wider as the scale increases. The purpose of that is to get all the accuracy they can in the upper regions of the chart so that you get a better reading. Again, you read the Vernier scale on this device here, and it tells you, it gives you a count, and the count is put in the formula, and the formula gives you the average result of the chart. The next progression in this type of device is the electronic model, which has an encoder inside here, which still gives you a count. The count is read on this display, and the display is plugged into the formula and gives you the same result. The next level is the Model 3000. This device also plugged into a processor. The processor gives you an output to the PC as well as an internal reading. Again, you would read the chart, gives you an area under the curve, and plug it into a formula and gives you an average result. The advantage of this model is it could read both linear and square root scales by changing a, a template inside the uh, device. Next we move on to the model 3100. The model 3100 works in a different way than the other styles of planimeters. This one measures every point along the curve of the of the chart it reads both linear and square root charts it records many points of data along the curve thereby giving you a, re a report that's defined by time so you can do more with the report um, it's also faster reading than the other types of charts and gives you a direct result in the computer on a spreadsheet the device is self-powered through the USB cable and is very easy to set up and use. This chart happens to be a square root chart. Notice the inner diameter of the chart from its radius to the zero line is 1 and 3 eighths inches. This is the standard L10 chart that we normally would read on the 3100. The dis distance between the zero line and the outer edge is 5 inches. Here's another type of chart, and it's the same L10 chart, but with dual scales. The dual scales start at the zero line and go up to 100 on this linear scale, but goes from 0 to 10 on the square root scale. 
Here's a chart with some different readings on it. Looks like two linear charts, two linear lines, one going to 450 and one going to 225. Here's another chart. Looks like a linear chart from 0 to 200. Notice that these charts read in 24 hour segments per rotation. Here's a different chart. Uh, it's an FX chart. Notice the smaller diameter from the radius. And it's designed for a different type of chart recorder. Currently the 3100 does not handle this type of chart, but a future model may. Notice it's linear scale from 0 to 100. Here's another type of chart in the FX type that's a linear it's a square root chart and it goes from 0 to 10. Here's another kind of chart with a weekly calibration on it.